what I'll talk in this video is how does a quant job profile look like in an investment bank. Uh, I'm going to take uh, a few of job profiles from Morgan Stanley, which is a very famous uh, investment bank. So the first profile that I'm going to take is uh, a quant profile in the market risk analytics department of Morgan Stanley in London. So I've taken this job description from LinkedIn. You can also find there. So let's discuss what the responsibilities are, what's the eligibility. So the responsibilities are like this. You have to develop, enhance and maintain market risk models. And what are the market risk models? Uh, value at risk, stress value at risk, IRC, CRM. So these are the market risk models you have to believe. So uh, if you're not from a quant background, you might wonder as to what these models are. Because these models do not look like data science models, right? Like regression or random forest or neural network. Well, these are also quantitative models that use a lot of mathematics, simulations, uh, statistics, and so on and so forth, but not exactly like how we build data science models. So that's one difference. There are other differences between a quant job profile and a data science um, job profile, and we will see what the differences are. Um, next, uh, you have to build these models with respect to the regulations. And regulation is very important in banking. Uh, in particular in uh, quantitative risk department where you have to build models as per the regulation adhere to the regulations unlike in data science you can build as per your own wish there, there is very little regulation right if you are in the data science department of a bank there is still some regulation in place otherwise in other industries uh, you do not have uh, regulations there. or uh, much less regulation I would say um, yeah, so apart from that, you also have to monitor models and evaluate the performance of the model on a regular basis. Uh, well, that's very unique to a quant profile that uh, monitoring performance of a model uh, on a regular basis is very unique to um, a quant profile. In data science profiles, you build models and then you help implementing these models, but uh, monitoring is uh, given very less importance in. Um, in a data science area. Um, then the next one is you have to closely collaborate with model validation team to understand validation findings and remediation of uh, the identified issues. Uh, quantitative risk department of banks, you have an independent team called model validation team that uh, basically review the models. So uh, that team reviews everything related to the model, data, the models or the algorithm we used the documentation, the assumption of these models, every single thing um, related to the model is reviewed by that department. So unless you get a go ahead from that department, you cannot use that model. And that's by regulation, by the way. It's a very peculiar thing to banking. In other industry, you do not find a model validation team. I guess in some insurance companies, you do find some model validation team, but otherwise uh, you do not have a separate validation team for uh, validating your models but that's very unique to banking so in quant profile you have to deal with that and that's not always always fun because you will be challenged you will be challenged on everything that you have done the assumptions the selection techniques the data you have used any filtration you have done everything will be challenged by the validation team um, then you will also be challenged by audit and all but but audit i guess is a thing in almost all industry not just in banking other than that, you'll have to collaborate with other teams such as data, IT, change management to ensure model changes are appropriately implemented. So uh, implementation is a very important part of model uh, use. Unless the models are properly implemented, we cannot use these models. Um, so yeah, you will have to help. Uh, next one is documentation of the models. Well, uh, documentation is not given uh, due importance in data science, actually, as far as my knowledge goes. Uh, the level of documentation in data science areas is, uh, is much, much, uh, I would say, um, yeah, the level of importance there is much less compared to uh, in the quantitative risk area, where documentation standard has to be very, very high. It has to be as good as an academic paper. So that's one thing. So it's therefore very important to be able to write good papers or write good uh, documents. 
and therefore i think in quantitative risk profile you uh, if you have a phd i think it helps a lot because then you have lots of experience with writing good academic papers so what are the skills required uh, you have to have an excellent academic background including an advanced degree in quantitative finance statistics mathematics science and engineering um, so in um, quant profiles they always prefer someone with quantitative uh, background engineering science and mathematics and all uh, economics is also fine but not other social sciences uh, so you must be able to understand uh, mathematics uh, very theoretical mathematics unlike in data science where you know if you know even the application side of it it's still fine right you don't have to understand the theory but in quantity finance you should be able to understand the theory otherwise uh, it will be very difficult to uh, build uh, the model also validate the model um, other among other things which are very different from the data science is uh, your level of knowledge of the product that's also mentioned here right that you should be having good knowledge of the financial product uh, which is the domain skills basically right in data science area actually it's good to have domain skills but that's not uh, a requirement uh, to get hired but in quantitative risk you have to have good knowledge of uh, financial risk financial products right there are a host of financial products so you should have good knowledge of at least some of form of these products so that's another important thing and then external mathematical ability so having theoretical knowledge of probability statistics uh, real algebra uh, you know these skills are extremely important uh, in quantitative risk profile that's what it is also mentioned here strong programming skills it goes with that saying you have to write program in very dif in, in different languages python r sometimes c++ java as well and then some general skills like strong communication skills uh, writing skills as i said you know in in these profiles you have to have good writing skills as well because you have to write uh, uh, academic papers documentation of the models and yeah so these things are very important uh, another profile we will take the second one is the quantitative strategist of the commodity strategy group uh, again it's a, a job description for a quant profile uh, in Morgan Stanley London it's a uh, with the fixed income department of uh, Morgan Stanley it is uh, yeah so it is very similar to the previous one just that it is more to do with the trading department so in the trading department you have to have very good knowledge of the products um, and secondly uh, you should be really fast and your abilities to deliver things very quickly is very important uh, so so there is a subtle difference between the previous one which was more into regulations where you have ample time to build models to document everything but in the trading quantitative risk it's somewhat different where you have to be uh, much quicker uh, what are the knowledge required uh, well the knowledge that is required is uh, you should have good experience with uh, products here you know you have to have good experience with the fx options uh, forex options you could also have profiles where you know you require good knowledge of bond uh, or good knowledge of let's say uh, swaps so on and so forth and then knowledge of option pricing theory finance so if you're familiar with uh, finance uh, you must be aware that there is something called option pricing theory it was developed in the 90s um, black school is one such theory there are other um, techniques as well to price the value of an option so that's very quantitative in nature and it's not just statistics or machine learning it's it's a lot more than at that it's actually very theoretical mathematics which involves calculus uh, you know differential equations real algebra and, and so on you need also some level of statistical uh, or machine learning skills but i would say uh, it's more you know uh, theoretical mathematics than um, machine learning then you have to have uh, ms or phd in quantitative field as i said uh, in in quantitative field you need at least a master's degree unlike in data science where even you get can get a job with a bachelor's degree but in quant side you need to have at least a master's degree um, or PhD even better PhD uh, preferred and programming like here C++ is used uh, in the trading side C++ is used because it's quite fast it's faster than even uh, Python and R and quite heavily used there 
uh, but they also need if you, it's good to have Python and Scala, especially for the IT side for the implementation side. The third profile is somewhat uh, you know a business oriented quant profile where 20% uh, of the work is quant uh, and 80% of it is about handling business. So uh, it's a corporate trade risk specialist profile again with Morgan Stanley in London. So there's the department is like okay it's a department where they evaluate the credit um, worthiness of a client and the client is a, a corporate client it's not an individual client rather it's a corporation right it's like you know say uh, a company like british petroleum or shell or uh, walmart is coming to morgan stanley to get loan so how do you assess the the credit quality or how do you assess the credit worthiness of the client so that's basically what it is so it's not just building credit risk models it's also about assessing the qualitative aspect of it so here you need uh, not just quantitative skills but also soft skills right to be able to speak to clients to be able to you know liaise with other teams within the bank and then assess the the client uh, ratings so it's a it's a mix of both skills right both business skills soft skills as well as the quantitative skills so this is somewhat different from the other two profiles, right? In the other two profiles, if you come from completely non-finance background, like physics or computer science, still okay. But in this profile, you need to have some level of uh, finance and economics knowledge. So this, prof this particular one is very suitable for people coming from uh, economics or people with uh, MBA in finance or uh, someone with a CFA uh, degree. Yeah. So the responsibilities are like okay it's more to do with the qualitative analysis but the sub, some quantitative analysis also involved like for example analyzing the economic and market events through you know different techniques tools and techniques it could be time series analysis it could be other structural models uh, but a lot of coordination that kind of work is also involved so unlike you know the perception that quant is all about programming and heavy mathematics it's more like rocket science Sometimes you also have quant profiles where uh, a lot of other things are also important, such as you know communication, such as knowing the business, knowing the client, uh, building relationship. So yeah, so it's good that you know we now have variety of quant roles uh, in this bank. Like 20 years back, it used to be different. Like quants used to be the nerds, right? We used to be in the back office analyzing data all the time, writing programs. Uh, they were so they were they were perceived as people like the IT people, right? Who are maintenance maintainer of the systems, but not decision maker for the business. But now you see, right? You can be directly involved with the front office for decision making and so on and so forth. So that's becoming uh, a very versatile role for uh, ones. Eligibility. Uh, so this is one, as I said, is is a, is a profile where you know. They don't need a super duper quantitative guy. They need someone who can understand quantity models, but someone who also has the appetite to learn other things such as financial risk, regulations, products, uh, you know, macroeconomics, uh, uh, yeah, also um, other soft skills. Thanks.